Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, something crazy is gonna happen. Alright guys, so the episode you guys have all been waiting for, you wanted me to see you wanted or you wanted to see me go into the runic dungeon. Um, and we're gonna do that this episode. So what I did in between episodes was I just kind of completed some of this stuff right here. Um, as you can see, I went through each section. Uh, there was a section that said make a cobblestone generator and feed it into um, your smeltery. So you can get this seared stone and you can just make tons of seared brick that way. Pretty easy to do that. Um, doesn't take much. Of course, the old fashioned um, world interaction upgrade on some uh, a cobblestone generator and you're good to go. Um, and then I just used the compacting drawer that was given to me to do that. So pretty simple. Um, but now it says make even better gear. Um, set, uh, make even better gear and set it for the run run uh, runic dungeon portal um, and then raid the dimension. Um, it also says craft a better jetpack. I do have a jetpack on me, but I did make some new gear. And this is the rupee gear. So after mining a little bit, I did have enough to actually make the rupee gear. And I think this is one of the best early game sets. For me anyways, as you can see, it, it has infinite uses. Um, the main chest piece, uh, or the full set does 50% uh, reduction. And then on top of that, you get 85% melee protection. So, that's going to help out a lot. And also, I brought, some, um, I brought the milk that was given to us, just in case we have to fight a wither, which hopefully we don't. Um, I don't think we will this episode, but uh, I do have the stuff. I did make a crossbow. This is a pretty crappy crossbow. After I made it, I realized the, durabil the durability is awful. Uh, but these bolts are not too bad um, at all. So uh, these are shiny bolts. And I thought that was going to be the best option. At least it looked like it was the best option. There are still some modifiers and stuff that I could add to it. But currently I don't have any modifiers added to any of them, actually. Um, I'm not sure what increases the range. But that is something that I would like to increase... Let's see, what is, I'd actually like to look at that. What does redstone do to this bow? It does uh, the draw speed, arrow speed. So the arrow speed stays the same. Everything stays the same. Effective durability. I'm really not even seeing what the difference is. Pretty much just uses a modifier slot. It says it gives it haste. I'm assuming that loads it faster. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that up to you guys in the comments. Let me know what a really good um, crossbow is that is obtainable at this point. Um, that would be really nice. But this is going to get us done for now. Um, it's not... That great, as you can see, the drop off is really fast. I think that's mostly due to this because it has a dense trait, and the travel distance is just not very far. I think if we were to use uh, some other bolt, it would also it'd be a lot nicer. But this does a lot more damage, um, and I need to watch out because I'm using my durability. But yeah, what does it say the repair is? Oh, the repair material is paper, so it's not like it's super hard to repair this thing. Um, but yeah. It is repairable with paper. I mean, it's pretty decent with paper repair. I don't know. But today we're going to get into the runic dungeons. Let's go ahead and get things set up. I would like to make a uh, sword. I was uh, farming these guys um, because I watched a System Collapse video and I was like, hey, that sword is going to be really nice for getting started with. So I'm pretty sure it's called a Terra Breaker. Let's look it up. Actually, we can just look at what this is used for. Right here. And then this is used to make the sword. So you need four of these to make the sword. And I have just enough to make it. So let's go ahead and get all of those. There we go. And then I also have enough of these to make possibly something. This sword only does 13 melee damage, so it's not even that great. The Corruption Cannon. Um, it does range damage. It uses Corruption Bullets, though. And I don't even see the bullets on here. But, yeah. 
I think this uh, this sword is gonna be really good. Let's go ahead and get us one stick. A stick. And bam, we have this guy, the Terra Maul. So that's gonna be really nice to have on us. Um, the Iron Backpacks, I thought it had like a GUI slot, but it doesn't. I think our questing book we could possibly leave behind and not have to worry about it. That gives us another slot down here for food. And everything else I think we can just put away. Um, also, I kind of changed this up. I removed our system and put it down here. And then I made two more of these for now. And they seem to be working out pretty nice, actually. So this one hasn't even been used yet, and I put a lot of stuff in here. So for now, the storage is working out perfect for us. But yeah, let's go ahead and make that stuff from for the Runic Dungeon mod. So, we need to make the magical staff, and you need three magical chalk to be able to do that. So, let's do this. Oh boy. Actually, I want to see if the quest guide... We should possibly get some stuff from this. We get a key, but... Maybe I need to pick up the item. Oh, I need that. I need to complete this task first. Right here. And let's just do an iron helmet. Whatever. Um, and then I can complain. I can claim that. Oh, I get a. Wait. Oh, I need a key. I need a dungeon key to be able to complete this. Oh, so I do need that book on me. So let's keep, yeah, let's keep the book on me. Um, I've honestly forgot the beheading. I probably need beheading, but I think I'll worry about that later. Um, I did recommend beheading in the guide. But I think I'm going to worry about that later. Actually, I don't need that. I can probably get rid of that. That actually gives me a slot for the questing book. And then we can take those. And the helmet. Give it all back. Along with the bucket. We might need torches, but I don't know. But anyways, let's get ourselves some stone. And just as I start talking, it starts to rain. And then we need some chiseled stone. This stuff right here. And then, bam. That should be everything that we need to get started. I'm going to put my portal over here. Like that. Bam. And then hit it with the chalk. And we have the portal. How nice is that? Um, so, I hope I'm ready for this. I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, this is going to be an adventure, for sure. And hopefully we have enough tools to be able to kill everything. So, um, I definitely have to have this pick. And let's, let's go. It's going to take a little bit to generate this world. Um, hopefully not too long. Okay, so here's our new dimension. And we're pretty safe right now. I mean, we're pretty safe. Um, we have a, this abandoned crate. I guess you break it, we get stuff. Um, but yeah, we're pretty safe at the moment. I do see there's a blaze here. I do see Enderman over here, so I'm assuming there's going to be an Enderman spawner, hopefully. So this is probably the first door I'm going to open. I mean, look at our map real quick. Boy, this is a big open area. So, there's villagers here. I don't know if that means zombie build villagers. I was seeing Enderman. I don't know where, what happened to that. Ooh, there's Enderman over here. So it looks like Enderman here, Enderman here, Enderman over here. So if we go in this... Oh boy. We have a long ways to go. But this way... Seems the most promising. Those look like villagers. Hopefully that doesn't mean disaster. But let's go ahead and get our quest book open. And we'll take this, because I want that heart canister. Should be able to consume that, right? Now that gives me a half a heart, or is it a full heart? It's a full heart. So now I have an extra heart worth of damage. Okay. So, can I protect myself? Yes, I can. And then we use the key to open up our door. Boy, oh boy. Um, 
So it looks like my best option. Oh man. Is going in here. That that looks like villager spawners. Or villagers. Oh, that's witches. Yeah, this is going to be bad. This is doing, like, no damage. Alright, she's going to probably kill me. Let me get this going. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably automatically going to die. <laughs> How crazy this is going to be. Okay. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> I'm already going through all of my apples. Um, so yeah, this is going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, here they come. Ow. Alright, let's reassess the situation. Because currently, I'm not ready for that. Um, I thought those... I didn't even see that they were witches. I honestly thought they were something else. Um, man, I get weakness. Oh, man. I get all this bad stuff. I think milk would help. In the situation, but man, I don't know. The regeneration is not the same. Um, I could make potions... But man, having a better weapon than this would probably be better. Or I could just rush them. I don't know, what should I do? Hmm. The what ifs. I know as soon as I go in here, I'm gonna get it tackled. Look at all this craziness. No telling how many poison potions I just got smacked with. And now I have to hurry up and break these. Look at that. Already died. Okay, that's not good. Where's my Okay, I didn't I didn't get my uh my thing didn't spawn. This is not good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I lost all my stuff. Um, okay. So yeah, all my stuff is apparently gone. That's not good. Um, so yeah, uh, there's really nothing I can do. I would not recommend going here yet. Maybe if I go back, maybe my stuff might be there. No, it must be like above here. I bet it, I bet it went above. Um... Okay, I'm going to check and see. Alright guys, so I did lose everything. I even tested it when creative mode jumped up there to see if my stuff was up on, above the, uh, the structures. No, nothing. Um, so yeah, all my stuff's lost. Um, I'm going to have to re remake everything pretty much from scratch. Um, but yeah, today's going to be a little bit shorter episode, I guess, since that all went down. There isn't much I can really do, but I, I know you guys probably got a kick of it out of it. Um, it is pretty funny. Um, I think what I'm going to do is instead of doing what I did, uh, just jumping in, um, to the runic dungeons, um, I think I'm better off just doing the mob farm from this and getting farther, um, well, at least progressing farther before we even attempt that again, because I have to get past that and it doesn't look like it's going to be very fun. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big PVP person, so playing PVP is in Minecraft is not my thing. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a pain. By the way, this is not connected. Oh, I see it connected there. Um, uh, but yeah, I've been growing farms, by the way. Um, mainly because there's quest for the farms. Um, I didn't exactly lose everything. Um, I did set up a brewing stand. I think I'm gonna start brewing st some potions, hopefully. That, that'll help me get through that a little bit easier. But if we take a look, I didn't lose my jetpack. That's a plus. That was a pain to make. Um, and then I didn't lose all my armor. I do have some armor. 
I have all the old armor I was wearing during the stream that I made during the stream. So not bad. Um, but I'm just missing all my tools, so that's not going to be too hard to make. Um, I did lose the, um, well, what did I lose? I really didn't lose that much, I guess. I mean, I lost my bow that I just made, I lost all that stuff, but that's not too bad. It was a pretty crappy bow to begin with. Um, but what I did is I turned this back on. I've been making the seared stone, as you can see, from a regular cobblestone generator, going into the compacting drawer that I got um, in a previous quest. I made item conduits, which is really easy to make. Just look up the recipe. Pretty simple. Just uh, ender pearls, or one ender pearl really, to make quite a bit of them. Um, but yeah, it's just making a bunch of seared bricks, as you can see. I probably need to put this stuff in a different chest. Actually, along with all these parts as well. I don't know why I have so many stone parts. I guess it doesn't burn the parts, it just sucks them out. I didn't know that. I thought it actually consumed them. But yeah, I also automated this guy. Um, so anytime I want to make any kind of processors, I just kind of put them in here and it's going to work. Um, the reason I have this one with an item kind of at the bottom is because, of course, the coppers don't work on the bottom. So I that's why, of course, I had to make an item conduit to get that to work. Um, also down here, I got this hooked up. I made a couple more, as I said before. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, I can't complain. Um, I got a lot going on. I got this cooking up all the plutonium here. Um, of course, I'm having more. The, it's it's really going fairly smooth. Um, other than going to there here, I should have really prepped more. I thought that armor was going to work out, but I wasn't. I wasn't anticipating witches, which are literally my least favorite mob in the entire game. I cannot stand them. They are they are my least favorite mob. In the entire game, and yet I, I the first dungeon I, I go into, bam, get smacked in the face with them. So yeah, uh, pretty salty about that. Um, but yeah, leave your comments down below if you have uh, any recommendations on how I should go about fighting them. I do have a lot of resources at the moment. I have quite a bit of resources, I guess you could say. So I'm, I'm working towards um, fighting them. But uh, leave me some comments down below. I probably should have been drinking more milk, but them, them damage potions that they're throwing at me, that was really hurting me. That was doing a lot of damage. Not going to be down to like one heart. So um, with like eight different uh, witches attacking you at once, it's it's not very easy. Um, you guys told me not to do it. <laughs> I know some people said don't do it. Um, but I did anyways. Uh, oh, well. Um, I, I bit the bullet there. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, this episode, I know it was a little bit shorter than uh, normal. But I uh, got a lot coming. A lot coming in the future. I uh, plan on having a mobs, uh, mob farm set up in the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying this, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.